when I took this decision. Everything showed me it's a good decision. Was it the worst atmosphere in a dressing room you've ever faced? This is the reason why we love the football. Everything is possible. Is it just a hobby or or it's a business uh, you, you will develop even after career? I think, you know, I need to speak uh, with my agent. Друзья, новый выпуск Лока Ликс и очередной замечательный гость Гжегаш Крыховик. Гжегаш делает успехи в изучении русского языка, но пока предпочел говорить на английском. Гжегаш, thank Привет. you very much. Привет. Uh, why English, not Russian? Uh, сейчас я, я говорю с игроками по-русски по uh, перед камерами еще не. Uh -huh. uh, so this is the reason why I, I choose English, because uh, at the moment uh, I learn, I study Russian, uh, I speak with other players, uh, with coaches. But you can speak more many other languages. You know, uh, one of the all-time most popular videos on our YouTube channel is how Grzegorz Krychowek speaks five languages. How are you so successful in studying uh, foreign languages? Because it's, it's so important to, to, to speak with another players, with the coach. What is the easiest language for you? I think then French. French. Uh, because I, um, I was arrived in France when I was 15, uh, so I spent uh, a lot of time. Uh, my girlfriend, she's French, so you know, every day I speak French. It helps. So it helps, yeah, of course. And what about Russian? Russian, Russian is similar uh, with Polish, so it's easier for me to, to learn. Uh, and how I said before, it's, it's important for me to speak with, with the players, uh, so I study, uh, study a lot, uh, but now uh, during the, this months of vacation I couldn't speak uh, Russian, so now I, I start again. What is your personal way uh, to study foreign languages? Every, uh, every time when I learn the new language, uh, I start uh, learn alone, you know, uh, um, every, every, every time is the same, but you know, after a um, few weeks, you need to, you need to stu study with the, with the teacher mm -hmm. because he, he can explain you uh, everything. A grammar. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But, but after a few months, you don't need really, you know, learn so hard. You need only use it in your life with your friends, with, your, with players, with coaches. This is the best way uh, to study. Okay, let's talk about Russia. Yeah. Do you like uh, life in Russia, in Moscow? Yes, of course, it's it's beautiful, nice city, but always when I move to another place, to the new place, for me I'm focused on football, because for me it's it's most important. But I'm I'm happy because the football, mm, I'm happy with the, about the football, with the football. I'm happy because, you know, I, I'm, in the, uh, I'm in the really beautiful city. You know, Moscow is a very nice, uh, very nice place. Can you name? Uh, three the most beauti beautiful places in Moscow. Uh, the most beautiful place is, is it's Kremlin, of course, Red Square, and uh, uh, I, I lost the name of the uh, of the opera, uh, uh, not Theatre uh, Bolshoi. Bolshoi Theatre. Yeah, yeah, fantastic place. Is there any big difference to compare with uh, West Europe? Because the whole your career you've been playing in uh, top. Uh, leagues in Europe and now you, you arrived to East uh, Europe so maybe is there any difference? You speak about football? Uh, no, about life. About life? No, I think you know in every big uh, city, uh, every big city, uh, capital, you know, the, the life is good, you know, I think in Moscow it's, we can compare it uh, to Paris and London, it's an amazing place, there's everything, restaurants, the, the, the nice places, you know, the, the quality of, of life is good, so, you know, I, for me it's, 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 uh, it's almost the same. Okay, now let's move to football. Mm -hmm. uh, did you know much about Lokomotiv before the transfer? No, I didn't know about a lot about it. I knew it then, you know, they, they play, they won the league, they, they play ch Champions League, so uh, it's, it's the club who fight always for the, for, to, to win the, the league, so 
uh, when I decided to come here, I was excited, you know, to 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 win the the league how they do it, how, how they did last season, you know. It's never um, easy to do it, you know, twice. Did you have some opportunities to stay in West Europe to play in top leagues? Yes, uh, yes, I had. Yeah, I had. I chose the uh, locomotive, um, how I said before, because, you know, it was a really excited project. What is the main challenge that you face playing here in Lokomotiv? Uh, win the league. What do you think about Russian league? Uh, Could you please compare it with other leagues, with English Premier League, with French and of course La Liga? There are, you know, uh, five clubs who fight for the, yep. for the title. We didn't start the season, you know, very well. Uh, but now everything is possible, you know, uh, we're going to play against uh, this team at home. Yes. Uh, it's not going to be easy, but I think we are capable to, to do it. We're going to fight till the end, we're going to do our best. And, uh, you know, we want to, to league, uh, we want to win this league. Uh, but before that, you know, now this is the, the most important period for us to, to work hard, to, to be prepared. Uh, because, for example, for me, uh, I didn't um, train a lot of before the uh, the start of the season because the World Cup. Uh, uh, I did. Uh, I've done only a few few trainings. And so now, now I'm so happy to do it. You know, the pre-season with uh, with uh, with another players. You know, really work hard this month. I see, except these four or five teams who play. You know, really offensive football. There are a lot of teams who. Who play really defensive football? You know, it's very, very hard to to score the first goal, to, because uh, sometimes it it changes everything. You know, you score uh, the first goal fast, and then you know the, the match is so different. So it's it's always important when you when we play to to start well and to score first. Six points, is it uh, enough uh, for Zenit to feel comfortable? Um, I don't think so because it's there is six points. It's nothing in football, you know. After the season, as I understand, Lokomotiv has to choose yes an option to to, to buy yes your contract or on, or not to do it or it, it, is it right? Uh, yeah, something like that. Uh, I think you know I need to speak uh, with my agent, but uh, uh, yeah, they they need to to find solution between the clubs for this moment. Do you like to continue your career here in Lokomotiv? Yes, of course. I'm happy here, you know, uh, we play, you know, we want to win the title, we are capable, you know, we are motivated. I think we, are, we have players to do it and uh, we're going to do our best, we're going to fight till end uh, to try, you know, repeat what the guys did last season. Dragos, I think it's not typical for you to have such a long training camp. Uh, no, it's the first time. Uh, I think it's going to be uh, 16 days. Yes. So it's a little, uh, it's really a big camp. Uh, but you know, after one month of vacation, we need to work, uh, uh, work hard to be to be ready to to do the start of the season. Because totally, it's three training camps and about uh, two months. Yeah, it's true. It's true. It's but strange. Yeah, it's train, strange. It's long. Yeah, but we have you know few major, few games, uh, few friendly games. Uh, yeah, we train a lot, but it's it's, it's normal. Is it boring? Uh, you know, we spent a lot of time together. You know, uh, 16 days in hotel. Yeah, it's a long time, but we know um, how is uh, important this time. So yeah, uh, it's a little bit long, but we are happy to do it. Does it help you maybe in terms of team spirit about some communications with guys? Yes, of course, because you know we spend a lot of time together. Uh, so yeah, yeah. With whom it, more? It helps. It helps a lot. With whom more? Uh, with uh, Reba, Ben, Benedict, uh, Boris, uh, Nikita, yeah, Vlad, Vlad and stuff. Uh, last time, unfortunately, you have to choose new teams uh, maybe more frequently than, than before. Yeah. Uh, was it a wrong decision to join PSG? When I took this decision, everything showed me that it's, 
it is good decision. I said so many things about you know PhD and uh, and about Emory. You know, I really closed this chapter. I know I'm now a focus on on the future. And for me, you know, I don't think what happened in PhD doesn't matter. Una Emery released uh, that he has now a book, autobiography. Will you read it? No, I didn't. Will you? Uh, I don't think so. Why? I don't know. Because maybe I, I, I knew him and I don't know. So maybe you know everything, yes? Uh, with no, I don't I don't everything uh, about it, but you know, what I want is, is enough for me. What uh, happened in Barcelona? Yeah, it was, <laughs> it was, you know, crazy match for us, for them, you know. Nobody uh, imagined that we could, uh, we, we can, play, we can lose this game. So it passed so, so, um, so fast, you know. Nobody believed after the game uh, what happened. But, you know, this is the reason why we love the football, you know, everything is possible. Was it the worst atmosphere in a dressing room you've ever uh, faced? Uh, I think so, yeah, one of them, yeah. Uh, I'm a big fan of English Premier League and I remember you playing football there. Yeah. And I can compare it with uh, the way you, you are playing football here in Russia. And I feel like you finally started to, to enjoy your football. Yeah, it's true, you know, even in England I moved, it was it was a um, really difficult period for me, for the club, you know. We didn't, uh, we didn't uh, do the objective of the club. Uh, now, uh, I, you know, I'm happy to play football and I'm happy where I am, so, you know, everything is it's, it's, it's good. What about atmosphere? Uh, football atmosphere. Can you compare it with uh, England? Of course, uh, in atmosphere in English Premier League is the best one in the world. Am I right? I think after Spanish, yeah. After Spanish? Yeah, I think so. You know, in Spain, you know, there are few stadiums, then atmosphere is it's, it's, it's much better. More crazy, you mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, in Russia uh, as well, you know, there are a lot of supporters. Uh, the biggest problem is the weather because you know sometimes it's so cold and the people don't come uh, to see the games. But uh, I can understand them. I'd like to talk with you about uh, success of Sevilla. Yeah. Uh, a lot of people say that uh, Sevilla of those years uh, was really successful because of sports director Ramon Monchi. Yeah. Do you agree with this opinion? Yeah, of course. You know the work which he did, it was, it was amazing, you know, the, the transfer, you know, buy, sell, and the players, it was amazing, you know, and this, this club, you know, change every year, five, six best players, and every, every, every season they play, uh, you know, in every high, uh, high level, you know, so it's, it's crazy work, uh, which, he did, and the club still still do it. Do you like inter international football? Do you watch football a lot when you come home? Uh, not really. You know, I, I try to, to watch my games because you know this is the best way to 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 progress. Uh, you know your movement on the pitch, how the how the how um, how the team uh, works uh, to, together. So, you know, I, I try to, to watch it my games only. When you play with Lewandowski, do you understand why he is one of the best strikers in the world? Yeah, because he, scor he scored the goals. So easy? So easy, like that. And how should we analyze uh, the, the uh, game of uh, defensive midfielder? Uh, yeah, it's a little bit complicated because, you know, you need to to play uh, very well during the game. You know, you need to run to to fight. Uh. Jagers, tell me please about Krzysztof Pentek because now there are rumors that we that he goes to Milan for for fantastic fee. Uh, do you think that he is a future star? Of course, of course. You know, uh, he has so many quality to to do it. Young player, good player. Uh, yeah, everything uh, in front of him. Can you name th three 
players, best players uh, with whom you, you've been playing during your career? Szczęzny. Szczęzny Banega Veratti. As I know, you have uh, a shop, a boutique of uh, fashion clothes, is it? Yes? Yeah. Uh, where? In Warsaw. Why not in Paris? Uh, not yet, because you know, the, um, there are a lot of shops in, in Paris, so you know, if you want uh, to start like me, like a, like a Polish, it's the best way to start in your country. Is it just a hobby or or it's a business uh, you, you will develop even after career? I think it's a business in, in, in hobby, you know, because uh, I like it, I, li I like it uh, a lot. But of course, you know, you, you need to buy a place, you know, you, you need to invest uh, the money. Uh, so, you know, yeah, of course it's investment. Is it profitable? Uh, yeah, at the moment, yeah, we are happy uh, with our results. So yeah, yeah, we are we are really uh, satisfied uh, about it. Could you name uh, the the most fashionable guy, maybe in PSG? PSG, the most uh, Thomas Muni. Really? No, not really. It's, it was a joke. <laughs> it's a joke. It's okay. another side. It's opposite. Okay, we will Google his photos. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us, please, uh, your favorite books, your favorite, and your favorite your favorite films. My favorite films, it's. All we, I like the film with Johnny Depp, you know. All of them. Yeah, I really, I really, I really like this actor. Uh, my books, I. Let's make some advice for our fans. Maybe say three uh, your favorite books. Uh, my books, I really liked, you know, uh, the book of Steven, Steve Jobs. He's again genius. Uh, the book of. Um, I lost the Wilkinson, Johnny Wilkinson. He's a he's crazy guy. He's fighter. Can you describe your typical day here in a training camp? I can even do it in in Russian. I'm gonna try it. You know, у нас у нас есть каждый день две тренировки утром и вечером. Уже мы играли две две игры с Зенитом и Ростовом. Мы будем играть посредний, mm -hmm. последняя игра с, с Зенитом, и мы хотим э, э, заканчивать э, первый и, и поигрывать э, кубок. Вы, uh, win, win, yeah, выигрывать. To win friendly matches yeah, is yeah. important? Yeah, of course, you know, uh, we play to win, uh, even if, you know, the work, uh, the preparation, it's so important, but we play to, to win, you know. So okay. of course we want we want to to win this uh, this tournament. Okay man, good Thanks. luck. Thank you very much. <laughs>